Skylum Software came out with its first update for Luminar AI. It is a minor update, but it's a bit of a performance enhancement, and it's also made some changes to the editing interface. So we're going to take a look at that today. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer in Central Florida. I like to do videos on Luminar AI and among other photography related things. So if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. Why don't we go ahead and get started and take a look at the updates inside of Luminar AI. Okay, we have our first update for Luminar AI, and you can tell that it's a very minor one. It's Luminar AI 1.0.1, bug fixes and more convenient editing. The folks at Skylum are calling this a performance update. So let's take a look at some of the things that have changed. They've changed the editing panel. So now, whereas right now you see these tabs over here on the side, and that'll change back and forth as to what you see underneath, this is gonna change so that the tabs go away and these items will all show at one time and you'll be able to scroll up and down. So you don't have to switch between tabs anymore. There's a new pop-up on import. They've added some scroll arrows for this photo because it was kind of difficult for people who didn't have a touch screen or a mouse that would scroll sideways. So they've added that. And they've also killed a, a bunch of bugs. So they say they have 111 bugs, including 11 major ones on Mac OS. And I think they've had a number of uh, Windows improvements as well. So let's go ahead and install the update and then we'll take a look at the user interface afterward. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice is, as I mentioned, these tabs over here have changed, so we don't have all the major sections. We still do have our essentials. We have our creative. We have portrait and professional. And you're going to notice, they're, first off, they've changed the enhanced AI to be the very first item on the tools, the very first thing. That's Skylum trying to influence or basically suggest that using the AI tool is the best way to get started. So this is why this is front and center right over here. And you can, of course, click the title of any of these and it'll open or close them. Also notice there's a couple of other changes. There's a color coding and there's a bit of a gradient. You can see the color change within Essentials from this color and Enhance down to this color and Vignette. The AI tools have a bit of a highlight on the AI, so they're easier to pick out so you know which tools are AI. Each section has its own color and again, it's its own color gradient. So it starts with this very kind of a hot pink at sky and comes down to a different color here at film grain. So again, the AI tools have this little orange over here that kind of exemplifies what they are. When you come down to portrait, it goes from yellow to orange. And then professional, you kind of got this green down to almost a cyan. So the idea is that some people weren't sure where to find certain tools when they were looking over here. Do I click on this one or this one? Now they can just kind of scroll up and down and easily find whatever tool that they're looking for. What you have over here now, you have some tools, which is where we are with this section. You have your local masking. And if you recall, this used to be kind of midway down here. It was separated from all of the other tools. And the interface is still the same here. You can still add a basic or a texture mask. And then your history. The history used to be at the bottom. So now your history of whatever you've done to a particular photograph is right there. And you can just easily come back over here. If you say, I want to undo those last two things, then you can just come back and undo it step by step, or you can go all the way back to your original photo. On templates, you see where it says for this photo, they've added a change. So this little arrow that shows up over here makes it easy to scroll across. And of course, now you've got an arrow to scroll back if you've gone in a little bit. The reason for this is that some people had problems because they did not have a trackpad or a mouse that allowed them to easily scroll from side to side. So the arrows, which is kind of a navigation feature that makes it easier for everyone to scroll through what's on for this photo. There's a new pop-up when you select to add. So you can either add a folder or an add an image. So we can click on add image. 
and then you can go ahead and navigate through your pictures and decide which photo you want to add in. Or you can just go ahead and click over here and say add a folder and decide an entire folder worth of photos that you want to add in. Another thing that Skylum did was add some tool tips. Some of these tools were little icons. They didn't exactly know to look at them what they did. So for example, if you weren't sure what this did, you hover over the tool and you see a little tool tip there that says add mask. And the same thing is true over here. What does this one do? It disables the tool. So if you've made a change with Accent AI and you want to see what it looks like, kind of toggling it on and off, you come over here, you click this and it disables just that particular tool. So those little uh, tool tips will help out. And then of course you can reset over here. So if you're not sure what something is, just go ahead and hover over it and see if you get an example of what that tool does. And this is a screenshot that shows you what tools have tool tips added to them. So uh, the before and after and preview windows, the zoom and the thumbnail size, you can see a number of them here. If you want, just go ahead, take a screenshot of this and that'll show you the items that'll give you a little bit of a tool tip. And show that as an example, let's come over here to, this is the preview and this is the before and after or compare tool. And those are the changes we have in this first performance update, Luminar AI 1.0.1. Hey, thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope this is helpful to you and it gives you an idea of what kind of changes have come in. Don't know when our next update is going to be for Luminar AI, but when it does come around, I'll make sure I tell you. In the meantime, if you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. That lets YouTube know if I'm doing something right and it'll show it to more people. And then you can subscribe. And if you do, please click the bell notification icon. That way you'll get a notice the next time that I put something in here. Thanks so much. We'll see you again in the next video.